If you guys have been following our YouTube and our socials for a little bit now, you guys know that we've been talking about these Kenda Cleaver RTs. Well, in today's video, we're gonna break down some of the reasons as to why they are so good and why we'd recommend and talk about them all the time. You guys ready to check out these Kenda Cleavers? Let's go. Now obviously you guys can find these right on our website at Trail Built Off Road, along with the pricing, the sizes, the different load capacities, all of that, all of those features are available on our website. But one of the reasons that we like this tire so much, well, first of all, you can look at the tread design and you can say something like, well, it looks very similar to like a Goodyear Wrangler Dura track, where you have this center tread pattern that's a little bit more closely grouped together in variable pitch order and then you have the outer tread lugs that are more aggressive with the kenda cleaver rt not only are you getting a really good tire with great traction capabilities but you're getting it for a heck of a price depending on what size you're looking for what load range rating these can range anywhere from 900 to about 1200 bucks uh, for a set of four which is a really great price for a tire that gives you long lasting durability and still all offer all of the traction capabilities for on-road performance and off-road. And a couple of reasons why they do so well, let's start with the on-road performance. One is you see you have those center tread lugs grouped more closely together. And what that does, it's gonna cut down on that road noise. It's, it's gonna prevent that slapping sound that you get uh, with a more aggressive tire by having these channel grooves more pitched at an angle along with these center treads as well. So you'll see these are pitched at that certain angle there so it's gonna contact the road as it comes around rotation one lug at a time instead of having these straight grooves just right straight directionally across the tire that will hit the ground make that louder noise. You just have more treads contacting the ground in that sort of fashion compared to like this tread design here where it's that variable pitch. So even though these will have a little bit more road noise than your average, let's just say all terrain for example, where those are more designed for your use typically on road than off road. So these are designed to be about 50% both. You're gonna great, have that great on road performance, that variable pitch pattern. You're gonna have these pretty wide grooves in here to help reduce that hydroplaning that you might get when it's really raining out and their winter performance is absolutely exceptional for on-road performance. Uh, these aren't quite three peak snowflake rated because Kenda having the integrity that they have as a company had all of their RTs pass the three peak mountain snowflake rating test except for one of their sizes. So being that just one of their sizes didn't pass that one test, they decided to opt out of labeling their RTs as three peak mountain snowflake rated. And that one size that didn't quite pass the three peak mountain snowflake rating test only failed by a couple of points. I think the target is 130, whatever 130 means, and it was like 128. At least that was what the engineer that we were talking with up at Crandon International Raceway a few weeks ago, actually probably about a month ago, was talking about when we asked about the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rated. So I don't know exactly which size tire didn't quite meet that rating. However, with that said, you can be rest assured that these Kenda RTs are going to perform exceptionally well in all types of weather conditions, including those severe winter driving conditions, whether it's a heavy snowstorm, a blizzard, or even if it's ice, you can rest assured that with all the siping, with all the way, with all of the different ways that these treads are designed on here, it's really grabbing and gripping all the time at that surface below. So that's gonna give you that really excellent on-road performance. All of these sipes in here, uh, including every shoulder, every shoulder lug on here has between two to three minimum sipes on every shoulder lug and every center lug has two sipes on them along with these massive grooves to help evacuate help evacuate quickly that snow or if it's mud rain water sand whatever that debris might be that you're going through these big center grooves help really channel that stuff out of there and channel it out rapidly. Now another thing I will say about these RTs that if you are planning on traveling on a lot of gravel roads with these massive center 
tread voids in here in between all the lugs including the, the shoulder lugs it does tend to pick up quite a bit of stones and kick them out so it's good to have either mud flaps or protective painting or whatever it may be underneath your rockers to help them from chipping quite a bit but expect them to be uh, stone grabbers they they do have stone ejectors built in between the shoulder lugs here but being that the voids in between the tread lugs are pretty substantial it does tend to pick up quite a bit of stone so keep that in mind but other than that these are excellent performing on road now off road same thing and especially when aired down they've designed these tread lugs the center tread lugs and also the shoulder tread lugs and even the side biters to be what's called interlocking which means when you're aired down in that tread the rubber starts to fold and flex whether it's just driving over the ground or when you're traversing on top of obstacles this tread pattern will flex and those tread and those tread lugs will intergroove with each other to help aid in that additional traction instead of staying apart where you could potentially be losing some of that grip on those obstacles or on the ground the side biters here you can see they're notched out so that way when that tread and rubber folds together they actually interlock together so you're going to get additional tread traction when aired down from the side biters the shoulder lugs you can see that the shoulder corners are alternating and what that's going to help do is scoop out any mud so when this tire is rotating you're in the mud you're in the sand you're in the snow each alternating shoulder lug is going to be scooping more snow sand mud water whatever it may be it's going to be scooping that out of the way to allow for more traction as that tire continues to rotate and along with their snow performance all of these shoulder lugs do have a tiny little hole pre-drilled into them and those are going to be for studs they fit the size tsmi number 15 stud so for all of you that are either running on ice a lot or if you're in those states or even provinces if it's canada you can run that tsmi number 15 stud in your kenda cleaver rts to really help get that additional traction when it's pretty icy out so that's another neat feature that these have as well and another thing too with uh, when we're looking at the side biters we're looking at the sidewall kenda does build these rts their entire carcass is a triple ply so it's three layers of polyester and what it is and what they call it is their triple threat sidewall which just means that the sidewall is three plies of thickness and that's going to give you really that extra sense of security when out on the trail so you're driving down the trails you're in some pretty thick stuff and you don't want your tires to get punctured or cut especially in the sidewalls because that's going to wreck your whole day if you don't have a spare or if you're in the mud and you cut a tire and you have to change that spare in the mud it's not fun at all and like i said before you will get a little bit more road noise with these but if you're buying this tire you know you're going to be hitting the trails you're going to be off-roading with it and you want something that's going to have that little extra aggressive tread design on it to really get you through that thick stuff and remember guys these are available in different weight categories weight carrying capacities different wheel sizes different tire sizes and when you're looking for the kenda cleaver rt on trail built you can also sort by quick delivery which just means that you look for the little blue icon that's going to tell you that we have this tire in stock in that particular size and that it's guaranteed to show up at your door within that 10 to 12 business days or so depending on the shipping company of course which also reminds me that if you do buy these Kenda RTs from Trouble and then package them that means that we're going to mount them for you on the wheels we're going to balance them and if you live in any state in the lower 48 we're also going to ship them to you for free and that's a heck of a savings compared to having it done all together at your local shop just adds on the cost if you did it that way compared to just package them with some wheels get the free mounting free balancing and free shipping to any state in the lower 48. so with all of that said guys if you haven't already heard of the kenda rts definitely make sure and check them out but hopefully this review has given you guys a little bit more insight as to why these tires work so good for the price that they're at so pretty awesome deal pretty awesome tire make sure to check them out again on trailbuildoffroad.com other than that guys if you do have any more feedback whatsoever or even any questions on these kenda rts definitely feel free to let us know 
in the comments below. And guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you like today's video, hit that thumbs up button. And guys, as always, we appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt, and we'll see you guys out on the trails.